What'd you get there, Brad? Well, I've got a knife. It's kind of like a big old Rambo knife here. And uh, it's a survival type well, knife. It's got some pockets there, got some storage. Uh, this would be a great place for a sharpener. Uh, it's probably already got something in there. That's pretty cool. Um, so it's a heavy knife. It's uh, probably got some stuff in the handle here. And um, I would imagine when you first got it, it might have had fish hooks, a compass, matches, yeah. Stuff like that in there. So we got some matches, okay. And we got an O-ring so that the water doesn't go in. That's pretty cool. It's reasonably heavy. Uh, it is a buck knife. I'll hold still. You can look right there. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got threads in here. Um, not really sure. It spikes. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, Self-defense spikes. All right. I got to put this back where it belongs. Like that. Okay, but let's look. It's a little thick. It's not very sharp. Okay. Uh, I can actually see the cutting edge in places where it's been used a little hard. So let's see. Okay, that's sharper than I thought. My gosh, how could that be that sharp? Um, okay, that's not too bad, but we're going to make it even sharper. So we're going to use the four in one. Sharpen spark mini. Match the bevel that's on there. I let the light shine on it so I can see exactly what I'm doing. I watch the shine on the cutting edge and when it shines all the way across I know I'm matching the bevel of the blade perfectly. And just go right on out like that. I'll take a little bit of time and, and uh, make sure that that shines all the way across like it should. See how it just gets shinier and shinier? Just like this, go right down there off the point. They never actually uh, grind the point of a knife as sharp as it ought to be. It's just the way it is, it's just the way they do it. Come over here, do the same thing. We'll move right on sure. out here like that. I'm going to come back this way for just a little bit. Come back here to the handle, out towards the tip, just like that. My tungsten carbide corner works perfectly on these knives, just like this. It has peep sights on it so I can actually shoot it. But all the original iron sights are in the box. And I'm going to press a little bit harder on it to make it yes. cut. Made by Winchester. And then do this. All right, let's see what it does now. It was fairly sharp. Let's see if it's crazy sharp now, or if I need to do just a little bit more work on it. It does have a saw on there, and I know those are, yeah, those are like crazy sharp, just like that one is. So there's, this is E.J. Snyder's knife, and that's a buck knife. Yeah, let's see what we got. That's plenty sharp. I don't have a match pair, I only got one. I'm going to do just a little bit more on the tip on that one for you? Set it down at the tip and slide it towards the handle on the corner of the sharpener. I feel like grabbing a hold of the wrong thing to do. Just like that. I have that listed at 12 A couple little nicks, there's one right there and one right there. So we'll turn it at, a at an angle like this and kind of cut the nicks off the blade. Just like that. All right, yeah. let's see. They make ammunition. But I'm not sure they even make it. I think they're just reselling it. Maybe. It is. That's plenty sharp. Not too many of those trappers out there. So this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, Cheyenne, Wyoming, out at Archer Complex, sharpening a knife for a guy. And uh, who knows, maybe he buys a sharpener, maybe he doesn't. But the cool thing with me is I sharpen the knives, and to a certain extent, I don't really care if you buy a sharpener. I just like sharpening knives. This is Brad. You take care. We'll see you later.